it's finally time for your main event. Let's not waste any time. DJ, hit that music. Yo, challenge. So that All right, here we go. Here comes the challenger now. A legend, a legend in this business, a boss in this game. There he is. There we go. The, under, the underground king. You know, usually the champion is the favorite, but I got to tell you, I feel something in the air tonight. There's nothing that tells me that Slick could not take the gold home. Well, we have seen the Underground King rise up many a time in the past to overcome adversity. Tonight could be no different. Straight out of Jamaica. He looks ready to go. Yes. And so are we. Well, he better be because he's in the offense. Here we go. That music can mean only one thing. Anywhere else, this man being announced would be a vilified person. But as you see here, he is home. This is going to be something. Well, he is mean. He is tough. He is the muscle. And he is the El Mundo Boston heavyweight champion. And he's soaking it in. He definitely has his fair share of supporters here. Mass hole flags all over this Bell Time Club crowd holding them up. And look, he's out among the masses. And the holes, too. Loves that dirty water, boys. And he is going to be in for a fight. And he'll give you one. Oh, ho, ho. Shades of Big Poppy right there. I don't know if you caught his lips, but I can't repeat it. But that was great. I love it, because these two people, they look like they're going to tear each other apart. Doesn't look like any professional courtesy. And sometimes you just want to see a nasty, drag out, dirty brawl. Yes. And that's what we're going to get. You are spot on, Joey Biz. These two look like there's something personal here. No strangers to each other. Well, These two have been in the ring with each other many, many a time. Event. It is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the El Mundo Boston Heavyweight Championship. When the bell sounds, the man in charge of the action is senior official Kevin Quinn. Introducing first is the challenger in the corner to my left. Fighting out of Boston by way of Kingston, Jamaica. He weighs in this evening at 230 pounds. He is Slick Wagner Brown. Yes, yeah, Slick Wagner Brown, a worthy challenger. 2015, the Wakeland Wrestling Worthy. Hall of Fame. There is no more worthy of a challenger than Slick Wagner Brown. No. This man is a legend in this business. His opponents. Fighting out of the rat killer in Boston, Massachusetts. He weighs in tonight at 195 pounds. He is your El Mundo Boston heavyweight champion, the mass hole, Mike McCarthy. Listen to that ovation for the wow. Orlando Boston champion, the mass hole, Mike McCarthy. Listen to that introduction. Chills. Now, Drew, you uh, you know the champion quite well. Um, are you worried? Well, I'm not worried because luckily for me, I'm not in the ring right now. <laughs> I get to sit up here with you guys, comfortably watch this contest, just like everybody else here, this Bell Time Club crowd, and we are about to be treated well, well put. We're about to be treated to what's certain to be a barn burner. We have the best seat in the house with the best guy. I am pumped. We just got hyped up with a little pregame match, and uh, here we go. Oh, 
Slick. All right. Title match not underway even, here. Not even sweat the champion. Look at that smirk. Just professional professional go. courtesy professional where I didn't think was going to be given. You like seeing that. Well, at least I do. Didn't expect it. You Don't know what? Me. Hey, it's fine. You don't. I just want to see you get down and dirty, man. There we go. Now we championship on the line here. The arm trap now. Nice roll through. Both men sizing each other up here. Again, no strangers to each other. Side headlock applied. Slick is just, uh, oh, back and forth. Nice shoulder tackle. Slight size advantage there for us. Let's see. All the confidence in the world. Why oh. wouldn't he, though? This is a great matchup. Nice deep arm drags. And he still hangs on to the arm. Very deep arm drags now. And he's got that Controlling it. Arm. Notice that the knee's on the back of the head, too, putting pressure on the neck. Just a sign of a veteran. Very smooth. Knows how to get the most out of every hold, every move. Yep. Smooth, very technical, every oh, perfect. nice kip up. And a snap mare. Wasn't even going to count that because I knew there was no way this early in the contest. Slick keeps control now. But it's not the arm I think he's working. I think he's working the shoulder. I, I, I think everything he's doing is putting pressure on the shoulder. Arm. We, got the, we got the shoulder, we got the elbow. Slick Wagner Brown there keeping that locked in and adding as much punishment as he can, administering as much punishment as he can to the El Mundo champion, the masshole, Mike McCarthy. As we hit this bell time club, crowd getting behind. Yeah. Their champion. Yeah, they want to see the hometown hero retain his title. Here. Send Slick for a ride. Clubs him. Yeah, but you wouldn't even know it. Both power pretty and the equally matched. just called for the 617. And oh. There it is. Slightly different than the 619. Just slightly. Just slightly. Yeah. Get our area code proud. There we go. And it looks like either man could be going for a backslide. Oh, again, working over the shoulder. I love how Slick Wagner is immobilizing the side of his body. Oh, taking him out. I just love the pace that Slick is moving with because he's not showing any type of urgency whatsoever. It's almost like he's like, I got this. Absolutely. There is a method to his madness. Oh. <laughs> he's taking water. Oh, boy. Oh. And the uh, crowd got anointed. <laughs> a little bit. Now, the match started off with a handshake, but that was very disrespectful. That's what I'm saying. It's devolving quickly, and I love it. Look, after the handshake at the beginning was respect enough. After that, these two are going to fight tooth and nail. So somebody goes home with that belt, and SWB wants it to be him. I knew it was personal. Oh, here we go. Roll through. Nope. Still quite a lot of fight. Are you kidding me? You're not going to put the mass hole down. Not at all. Not in the middle of this title reign. Absolutely not. Oh, standing it just right on his digits to get the six one seven. He's stepping on all of them. That's 508, 617, 781. Here we go. One, two. All right, his hands gotta be throbbing. Counter two only, but SWB in full control of this match. He's dominating this match thus far, guys. Yeah, he's putting a clinic on. We can see uh, we can see the look of agony on the face there of the mass hole as SWB just wrenches on that arm. If at this pace, what we may see is that El Mundo Heavyweight Championship changing hands. The ref is letting us know that he's still in this. He's not giving up. Mass hole's feeding off the crowd, giving him some energy, and the room's coming alive. I tell you what, he's won a convert. He's winning me over here. Yeah. Or maybe it's the crowd. Both these men could be considered fan favorites tonight. Yes, sir. And why not? Oh! Uh, and 
SWB put a big stop to the beginning of that, of what looked like some momentum for the mass old Mike McCarthy. Yeah, he big old red light on that one with that knee. Yeah, buried it deep into his gut. Listen, SWB is forcing the action. Here we go. Holding the pace. I like how he's controlling nope. this match. Again, right back to that shoulder. Everything he's doing has purpose. He just keeps on wrenching it. You've got to figure sooner or later, he is going to just give up. Oh, yeah, there was definitely a game plan, and you can see it right here. 100%, he's executing it perfectly. And even hear the smack on the flesh when he applies the pressure. He's not giving any quarter, just continuously punishing him. What happens when the gold's on the line? Yeah. But Masso living up to his name, he's tough as hell, and uh, you know it's going to take a lot more than that. Might take all, half a Lansdowne Street to take him down. Oh, absolutely. Like I said many times in the past, uh, you know Mike McCarthy putting his body at risk, uh, you know getting into bloody brawls, hurting people, and this was all before he got into professional wrestling. Right. There he is. He's starting to get a little bit more of a, a vertical base. He's reverting back to his own way. Championship match, you can say that, Joe. Here we go. The Bean Town Pub Punisher. Here he is. Oh! Drop kick to the bridge of the nose. Back elbow. That's the Rathskeller, by the way, Donnie, but that's all right. <laughs> Just being a little innovative. Up, up and over nice. for the mass hole. Gets a big elbow in the corner. I don't know if he got all of what he wanted, but more than enough. There That's we go what again. He was looking for. Nice tumble through. Third time's the charm. What an uppercut. Caught SWB flush. Slick might have lost a little bit of shine on that one. He definitely did. No, oh, went to the well too many times. Oh, he's going up now. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh. oh, taken down just as quick. Nice leg lariat. Here we go. One, two. Wow. Yeah, that was close. Whoa. The ref and I. Uh, I well, I'll tell you, it took, it took the master a little, a, little, yeah. a little more effort he needed to kick out of that one. Are we witnessing the beginning of the end here? Is the mass hole slowing down? Well, what I'm noticing now is that energy that I said Slick wasn't expending at the beginning. He's getting a little bit more of a um, possible desperation here. Has the wherewithal to punish the mass hole for every mistake that he makes in that break. Yeah, but perhaps it's not as controlled as it was before. Oh! Beautiful! Drills him into the mat, and if he can capitalize, he could go home, call it a day, keep that title, grab his check. And what in the world say, is going on? It, I was about to say, it was, it, that could have been lights out for SWB. Looks like it's light, lights out for everyone here at the Bell Time Club. I don't know what's going on. What in the world? Put your phones on, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Let's get some light this? there. What is this? Oh, wait a minute. Looks like something out of Mortal Kombat. Hold on, hold on. What is going on here? We know, folks, is that... Oh my God, I know who that is. Wait a minute. That, that it, it is, ladies and gentlemen, Demon Ortiz. Attacking the mass asshole. asshole now. Now that should be a disqualification. Should be, but I'll allow it. That shot almost took the mass hole. What is going on here? Demon Ortiz I don't now. Know, but himself in. There goes referee there's Kevin the ref. Smith. That's got to be it now. And that is it, folks. But we're not done, because now he's turned on uh, Slick. Demon Ortiz has come out here, to, it looks like, to just to make a statement to the Bell Time Club crowd here as he is. He's just annihilating everything that's moving. Uh oh. Incredible. What, was we, what were we saying? You never know what the hell you're going to get when you watch Bell Time Club. Here we go again. Order here, guys. Order? Well, we, we need had, a seance. We had us a, we had us a fantastic uh, El Mundo Championship match going on until Demon Ortiz came out. Yeah, and what, to what end? And shut the whole thing down, but for what? And you never like to see a championship match end that manner. Not at all. Not at all. 
Like well, Demon Ortiz doesn't seem to care. Came out here making some type of a statement here. Everyone was robbed. Robbed of that contest. And, and we don't know how that was going to go. But I think well, it's nevertheless. Ladies and gentlemen, where is Ref Quinn? Hold on, we're going to restart this match. Ladies and gentlemen, according to senior official Kevin Quinn, this it's is a, a no contest. contest. Oh, Which wow. Means still champion, the Mass Hall, Mike McCarthy. All right, well, the Mass well, Hall retains the title, but uh, I'm sure it's not the way that he wanted to. No, definitely not. You know he has the pride, and he didn't want to go down that way, but hey, them's the breaks. Sometimes right. this happens. I guess what we're really wondering is what does the future hold now? For Demon Ortiz, the Mass Hall Mike That's McCarthy, bullshit, and Slick man. Wagner Brown. Hang on, Slick uh -oh. Wagner Mike now. Fans want five more minutes. U L L S H I T. You know what that spells? Bullshit. These two in full, full agreement here. Yeah. Well, how can you be? I think everybody else here agrees. I came from all the Massachusetts for a fight. We, he was giving us one hell of a fight before that got interrupted. Ortiz, if you want to fight, get your ass out here oh, and wow. fight. Let's go. Get your ass out here, Ortiz. Calling Where is he? Ortiz out again. Hey, Quinn, yep. do your job. Get Things change on here. the fly. Get him out here. Me and Massel, hey, me and you, tag team. Ortiz, you want to see a tag team match? Wait a minute. What? Ortiz, what? where you at? And SWB now. Hey, put your camera down, get your ass in the back, and bring out Ortiz. Where is he? SWB wants Demon Ortiz in the worst way. He's he ruined his chances at winning the El Mundo hey, Championship. That's a great idea, but it's a long walk. So I'm going to stay right here until uh, the green monster shows his face. Wow. Pun intended. Yeah, there is uh, no mincing words there. He's where, the where is he? <laughs> Quinn, it, it looks it like the, the, the show's been held hostage again. Hold on. He punched me in the face and he gave you gave me a message for the both of you. Uh oh. He'll see you real soon. Wow. Foreboding. Foreboding. I didn't care for the words that came out of your mouth, because it's verbal diarrhea. Going back and get that juggle face painted weirdo out here. Yeah. Alright, let's action. see what he comes up with this time. Let's go. Oh, there he is. All right. Hey. Wow. Oh, and look at this SWB and the mass old Mike McCarthy now going after Demon Ortiz. Well, unless we get a camera crew back there, we well, don't know what is thank going you on. For joining us here tonight. Did you folks have fun? <laughs> I guess that's it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you to Dante Luna. Thank you to the Bell Time Club. This was an amazing event here. Thank you to our commentary team, all the production staff, the camera guys, everyone, the bartenders, and each and every one of you for paying your hard-earned money to come see the show. Thank you for doing that on a snowy Wednesday night. We will see you real soon. Get home safe, Malden.